Yeah, cool. So we're going to take a look at Super here as well, seeing what he's running under uh, under the hood here. With six turns of Lissa, he is running what appears to be a pretty typical Hambo build as well, running with the Zerker's Amulet. It's going to make it do a little bit more damage. Usually on a Hambo build, you'll either see um you'll either see the Zerker's Amulet or the Soldier's Amulet. Soldier's Amulet can make it sort of a secondary bunker almost, rather more tank than bunker, but you get the point. Um, and as well, you can run with Zerker's Amulet to make it do quite a bit of damage in addition to the CC. It's going to dish out regardless. Uh, his traits as well are going to be the standard for a bunk for a uh, Hambo warrior, running with zero zero. 30, 10, 30, getting a lot of the defensive traits here in the defense tree, and then he gets a quite a quite a few utilities over here in the discipline tree as well that are quite useful. Posey on Necromancer here is going to be running with what appears to be a pretty usual Condimancer build, uh, running with six runes of the Nightmare, as well as Staff, Scepter Dagger, with the Rabbit Emma and the traits being 30, 20, 0, 0, 20, but as well, he is running Wells, which becomes sort of, again, this is somewhat being translated from the larger scale fights in World v. World GVG, where most, if not all Necros in that scenario are running wells and it's a very useful utility for big team fights and as you can see it is taking its place here as well can scout on uh, ranger here is going to be running what appears to be the pretty typical spirit ranger belt with six runes of the forge as well as sword dagger with a short bow settler's ammo and the traits being 10 0 30 30 0 a lot of support can come out for that a lot of procs a lot of boon procs a lot of debuff procs and it really helps you out especially that uh, uh Spirit of Nature can definitely help you out too. And then Lady Nagnag on Thief is going to be rolling with six runes of Lissa. Still going to be rolling with Sword Dagger. And Sword Dagger was nerfed recently, but there's still there's still a couple thieves. Notably, EU thieves are the ones I'm noticing that are still running it. Um, and they they still do a pretty decent job of it. It's not as good as before, but the ones that are pr fairly skilled with it, like uh, like Lady Nagnag here and um, Sizer is another really good one. They can still definitely deal a lot of damage and be a very annoying force to deal with. Um, and as well, going to be running with the Shurpo, Zerkazama, and the traits themselves are going to be 10-30-0-30-0. And then last but not least, we have Lord Helseth, who has finally reconnected here with six runes of Lissa, as well as a uh, Staff Greatsword with Valkyrie's and the traits are going to be 30 20 0 0 20 going for the confounding suggestions 30 point trait into domination And then we're also waiting on Tage to come back who is allegedly changing up his build But uh, before we do that, let's go ahead and jump onto Fusio see what he's running um, You want to start that off a little do you want me to do it? Uh, you can do it this time. All right, man So he's gonna actually the match oh. is about to start <laughs> so we can't do that but that's okay, because uh, Fusio is running a standard EU Bunker Guardian, and that's really kind of all you need to know for that going ahead into this game here. Um, so the match is about to start, Blue. Normally, I'd hop open to the map, and out of force of habit, I have. But really, of course, once again, there's only one place these guys are going, and that's straight to the graveyard. And they're going to run right into mid, and uh, let's see if they're going to actually stack up. Let's see what they decide to do here as they go forward. Now again, we do need to know too, for those of you that were watching at the beginning of the tournament, we did see 55 HG Monks put a couple of their members into stealth and then push their tanky members onto the point. Now, the OTF looks like they're going to do the same exact thing, putting five of their six players into stealth so that they can re-engage. Looks like they are going to try to get on Nishi here, and then they're going to push Tage onto the point so we can tank. And again, that engagement has worked brilliantly, as again, VOTF already has one person, or VOTF has already killed one person. Yeah, they stopped him out. Fusio is trying to get that uh, res there, not able to do so. Um, he's, he's Res was a little bit too slow there. Uh, Stomp went through regardless. Um, I'm really interested to, to know though. Let's open up Nishitora's uh, stats. Is this a uh, decap NG? Uh, uh, not no, this it's is not. more of a support NG yeah. in all honesty, just to go off of a quick first glance. He's running with two runes of water, four runes of the grove here. Pistol shield with the settler's ammo and the traits themselves with 10 points into explosives, 20 points into inventions, and then 30 points into alchemy. Uh, he does he does run automated response as the highest tier trait here, or, but uh, other than that though, I'm, I want to say it's a support NG because he's relying, the main focus of this build seems to be on the bombs as well as the super elixir yeah, uh, five right. ability on the, on the, on the, the, elixir, um, gun. On the elixir gun. But I'm just yeah. not sure how well that actually is going to work because this is something very unorthodox for an NG, especially in yep. SPVP. We're seeing the team wipe already, but if Nishi, Nishi was running that bunker, uh, not the bunker NG, but the decap NG, that would actually be uh, really, like, it actually might benefit them, because I remember seeing Can Scout having a lot of trouble in round one of this. Everyone sort of just wiped. Now we're going to see Can Scout and company, they're, gonna, they're actually going to push here. Can Scout's going to stay on the point to cap it, and they're just going to start pushing here. Hell's the first one to the gate, uh, followed by Posey, then Super, and they're going to have run interference on anyone coming out there. I think Blue Team knows what's coming, and they're just going to go ahead and try and defend their lord try and run defense force a red wipe and then go back in the mid but i'm not sure if they can do that here they're all stacking up near yeah. the blue lord right now Looks like a red team actually as well is going to be jumping into stealth, so we're going to have to see. They will have to watch out. Look at them. Oh wait, look at this. They've stealthed the Lord. I think. No, actually, no. No, they stealth themselves. 
I thought they could stealth the Lord there for a second, too. No, nope. like Lady Lagnac is already initiating on the Lord here. He's going to take some damage from just the AoE that is around him, like, in general. But look at the... the uh, there is no damage, really, except for Posey, who's about uh, 14... Uh, uh, Sorry, a quarter health, rather. Can't scout. Slowly, slowly dropping as well, but the Blue Lord's on a quarter health as well. Spike gonna come in momentarily, and there it is. Blue, uh, Blue Lord dies. Red Team, BOTF, we're gonna take a 2-0 victory. Moving forward.